After the mid-20th century, a pathologizing conception of excessive body fat became the most common way of problematizing the corpulence considered excessive, which would become what we call obesity. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, however, this type of discourse was not popular yet. Consequently, at the birth of cinema and throughout the period of silent cinema there are not many excerpts from the thematic category called health. In this discursive formation, statements were made that proclaim that the condition is a disease. But one can, conversely, consider that in all other sections in which pathological speeches do not occur, it was proclaimed that body fat or excessive corpulence are not pathological conditions. Of all about 800 films analyzed, only in five excerpts was there any pathological hint associated with the burly characters. Only in one, however, there was an explicitly direct and pathologizing theme. In the movie The Doctor's Secret, from 1909, by the French Georges Bélis, there is the most important historical finding of this research regarding the history of obesity and the socio-cultural and historical pathologization process. For this reason, this work was selected as representative of this category, and it is therefore necessary to pass it on in its entirety. The film, which lasts about nine minutes, begins with a man representing a patient, with filling in the abdomen and trunk, being carried by two men, entering a room, where a third awaits him. It soon becomes clear that this is a clinic, which is also suggested in the title, since hydrotherapy was a common treatment at the time. The main dysfunction stated to resort to treatment seems to be the relative difficulty of mobility. The doctor, who is already focused on reducing abdominal volume or the amount of fat, promptly identifies the cause. Then, a series of procedures begins, fantastic, as the title also indicates, in order to reduce the size of the abdominal circumference and the amount of body fat of the patient.
after going through the whole series of equipment and techniques, the patient loses weight. Without artificial fillers, the actor is extremely thin. He is proud and portentous, unlike the beginning of the film. At the end, one is still placed before and after the treatment.